Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Tsukhafatso, and today's video is all about how I learned how to code. So I posted this video a couple of weeks ago, but I wasn't happy about it, so I deleted it. A few people got to see it, but yeah, <laughs> this is the latest version, so yeah. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Please do give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, and let us get started. <laughs> know I am a computer science student in my third and final year quarter to being done just you know in the last stretch so that is super exciting and uh, you know a bit scary but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm also interning as a software developer so that's what I'm doing so I thought I'd share more videos about coding and all those type of things and you know maybe share some projects I'm working on that I can share you know and i thought it would be fun and i enjoy watching these kind of videos so i was like before i introduced that whole new section to my youtube channel i thought let me actually start where it all started so, yeah <laughs> it all started in 2014 when i was a blogger and i had my own site it was called i don't know what the first name was but the most popular name was simp eternal adventures which is simp eternal means eternal so it's like I was like, wow, I'm so cool. You know, I learned the word from Tumblr. But anyways, <laughs> that's not the point of this video. So basically, um, I wanted to change how my site looked. And that's when I discovered HTML and CSS. So I was like, okay, so if I type these things, this happens. This is interesting. I can make some changes to my site, personalize it, make it look cool. And I found that very interesting. So that's when I uh, tried to learn more about coding. But it's so hard. Like, when you're starting out, you don't know what you're supposed to search. Like, it's so hard because, for example, if you don't know HTML and CSS, you can't search like HTML and CSS tutorial because you don't know what makes, you know, the website look the way it was. So it was pretty hard to learn. But um, eventually I learned like HTML and CSS and I learned from Code Academy and Free Code Camp, which are free, both are free resources to learn how to code. They also Facebook groups so you can like interact with other people. I don't do much of that, but I did join the groups on Facebook, guys. Facebook is not dead. Facebook is very much alive. At some point of my life, I thought Facebook was dead. But there's so much that goes on there that is so helpful and so wonderful. So um, I joined those groups. I was learning. It was kind of like, I felt like I had to learn, 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 learn. And then one day I'll use the knowledge so that's where i went i also downloaded a couple of apps from the play store i'm not sure which apps they were but i just said like uh learning html learning css learning javascript so yeah and then a lot of, there are a lot of apps i can't i'm not sure which ones are the good ones which ones are not so good but i maybe you can just check them out and see which ones work for you but yeah i also use those apps and then I kind of just stopped because I was just constantly learning but never doing anything with the knowledge I gained. Somewhere along the line, I got interested in video game development and I was like, this is what I want to do with my life. So I was like, I'm going to learn video game development. I wanted to know everything like ASAP. So uh, I found this book that was called How to Learn Video Game Development or How to Learn Unity. I'm not too sure, um, but I'll leave the correct name in the, I'll put it up here and in the description. But I found that book and it said how to learn video game development in 24 hours. And y'all, you know, like, you got me. Like, <laughs> who doesn't want to learn 24 hours? So it was actually like 24 chapters. So each chapter is like an hour. So I went through that book. I ended up creating like a game and I was so excited. I was like, this is a thing that I made. And I was so happy. I coded in C Sharp. It was like the first time I ever saw c sharp but i actually did something with it so like that's when i learned like about a lot of like i learned a lot so for me what works best is like project-based learning where i'm actually doing something and then you know learning along the way but i feel like before you can start with projects you need to have like a basic knowledge that's why free code camp and code academy and there's also a lot of good uh courses on skillshare and probably a lot of other platforms but for me it's like uh, what works best for me is to get a basic understanding and then get hands-on on a project and learn along the way. So, so then I learned video game development and then I also took IT at school. We started with Scratch. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm not a huge fan of Scratch, but I think if you're a beginner, it could work. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of Scratch. And then, yeah, so I also learned Delphi in school. So... In school, I also got a lot of um, information about coding. So 
that's when I decided, okay, I'm gonna go study computer science. So yeah, so I do have like a formal education. Like I learned, I studied computer science. I'm almost done. Soon I'll be saying I'm a computer science graduate. <laughs> so I think I'll make another video about like my experience with studying computer science and all of that. But I really do believe that you can get so far without like a formal education. I feel like if you can show, you can do something and if you can actually like code and make something work then that's enough from my personal opinion another way that i learned how to code and i almost forgot to mention it is through these books this is html and css design and build websites by john duckett is this book and jquery and javascript interactive front end web development so i actually in my trick i won a competition uh like it was like a school thing we went somewhere and then we won a competition so and we, they gave us like a thousand rand take a lot vouchers and i was like i'm gonna learn how to code so i bought these books i think they were like 500 rands together so that's what i did with my voucher i bought these two books when i was in matric i never really made much use of them honestly but i think like i really like i honestly don't know why i think maybe it's because i was learning coding at school so i was kind of like uh but guys it is so like they give you um I don't know if you can see, I really hope you can. So it's like a sample of the code and then how it looks like. So I think it's good to like see, like I like seeing what I'm doing and actually, you know, seeing stuff happen. So I think this is really good for that. I haven't touched these books in so long, but they're so good, guys. And this is JavaScript and jQuery. So it's like web development if you're interested in that, making things happen. For example, like some of the... um. If they still, I'll check if they still on take a lot and link them down below if anyone is interested. But like, for example, the HTML and CSS one, the chapters are structured, text, lists, links, images, tables, forms, flash, video, audio, color, text box, etc. etc. And then the JavaScript and jQuery is um, the ABC of programming, basic JavaScript instructions. Functions, methods, objects, decisions, loops, etc, etc. So I think it's very, I think these are very good and interesting. I really wish I made more, like I spent half of my <laughs> voucher on this. I really wish I made use of them more, but I think they're very interesting and you can check them out. There's also things like Rethink Code where it's like a two-year internship that's free and you can learn how to code. I really wanted to do that, but um. I think there were like three tests to get in and then after you get in there's a one month boot camp but I failed the third test so I never made it in and I really wanted to do that but then I ended up studying computer science but like there's a lot of resources guys sometimes it just takes a little bit of searching and also like I feel like know what you want to learn like okay do I want to learn how to make websites do I want to learn how to make mobile apps or anything else and then from there search okay how to make mobile apps then see the different ways and then read up on all the different ways and see which one you think is best for you and then just try it out if it doesn't work try another one i think don't try to do everything at once because especially if you're new then it's going to get all like all over the place and you might you know feel discouraged but yeah so that's <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up we're on the way to 4k and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye Thank you.